Good morning. Welcome to another fine episode of Monday Morning Coffee with Josh. But today, a little twist on it before, we're having an espresso this morning. I wanted that extra little jolt of energy inside of me. So that's what we're doing. Today is brought to us by Cafe La Leva. Comes in a nice little green bag, like so. Uh, the thing I hate about espressos is they don't give you fun descriptions like coffee. I think the reason why is because they all taste the same unless you add sugary flavorings to them. And then in that case, they taste like whatever the flavoring is. But today, I went with just a regular old fashioned espresso with frothy milk on top. And so we're gonna give her a try. Mmm. Do love that espresso. Good little stash in there. Add a little flavor sometimes, flavor saver. It's actually down below, but sometimes you get it from both ends. So that's very convenient. Yeah, it's a solid espresso. It's a very dark, very lively feeling to it. I mean, right off the tip of the tongue, it's gonna be a six. It's above average. It's, it's a pretty average espresso, like most espressos. So yeah, give it a try if you want. It's just as good as the other one I've had back in the day. So moving on. So this last weekend, I had some free time and uh, I'm really happy that Netflix, if you guys don't know, I've talked shit about them in the past for their crappy, uh, essentially they're just good for watching TV shows now and very not very good for watching movies streaming because I think they want you to upgrade to their next subscription level, which I refuse to do. So that's why I do Redbox. But anyway, it's getting off track. They did partner with Disney, which is great because Disney is also partners with Pixar. Now, Pixar just so happens to be one of my favorite movie companies because they always produce a all right quality movie. So that's pretty, pretty positive. And they just released uh, Finding Dory on Netflix streaming. So if you don't know, you're welcome. You can check it out. But just a real quick review. So Finding Nemo came out when I was just a wee child and it was quite funny, I think. I remember there were some annoying things like just keep swimming and the birds that were kind of fun but annoying at the same time. And I thought it was a pretty good movie. It was enjoyable for all the family. I could tell even as a small young child that all the family was enjoying it while watching it. So my review on uh, kind of finding Dory though is they've tried to take those same essence of the last movie and essentially it has the same timeline and the same similar characters in it and sense of humor because essentially a generation is watching this so they probably don't remember the first one but they forget that people like me do remember the first one and go oh I see what you did there very lazy job now I did laugh at some points I watched the entire movie you like a movie that's about a fish that can't remember stuff that then wants to go find her family after finding Nemo's family and then they get into the same kind of wacky adventures meeting new characters that are interesting and then the plot twist is that they end happily ever after you can totally give it a try and watching now how this relates to fitness i have no idea i didn't really think that far ahead you could say it relates to fitness because sometimes you just got to keep swimming when it gets tough sometimes you need friends to help you along your journey when life gets hard Sometimes you just need a good laugh in your life when you're feeling down. So that's all I have. That was my first uh, movie review. And what I would say of Finding Dory at the end of the day, it's, it's an all right movie. If you want to waste two hours of your life and have some laughs along the way, or you just want the excuse to eat popcorn loaded with butter, then go for it. That's a great movie. Or you have young kids and you just want to keep them entertained for a while while you go do adult stuff, I would say it's a great choice. But yeah, for like for actually serious watching of a movie, like for your enjoyment, we had a one to 10 like I normally do, I'm gonna go with like a four. It was below average for Pixar, in my opinion. And uh, that hurts. That's my thoughts for this week. If you have any questions or wanna converse, I know that fitness-wise this probably was, but whatever, moving on. So I'll, go, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, please check so please check out my website at williamstrainingsystems.com or feel free to shoot me an email at josh at williamstrainingsystems.com and I will see you guys all next week.